Okay, it's going to be uh, changing the hydraulic filter on the Massey 1085. It resides inside this canister at the back of the cab here. And uh, it takes a 15 16 wrench on the bottom. And there should be a cartridge filter in there. And then you pre fill it with the Permatran 821 XL. Hydraulic fluid and the filter is a uh, Massey Agro 1687042M91 and it comes out of the United Kingdom. So that just didn't get in the socket. I was trying to take it off with a wrench, but there's not a lot of room here. There's the uh, inside of the housing, and oh, I'm just doing video here, and the proper part number. Oh yeah, I got the uh, Sita Massey again. We got the floorboard out. And uh, that's the lift cover for the rear end. And then that's the transmission there. So we plugged the gauge into the back, which I'll show in a minute. And we don't have very much pressure. We got 500 pounds idling, 1,000 pounds picking up a lift of two by fours this morning and 1,500 pounds lifting up a six foot plus straw bale so we're not getting up to our 2300 to 2600 psi we should have and we changed the filter so anyways we got to take off the hydraulic here this is where we piped in our uh, our pressure gauge and yeah it, it only make close to 100 bar at most which is uh, about 1500 psi so anyways I'm gonna pull this stuff off the back here here we are with the uh Lift cover taken off, there's the auxiliary pump and the uh, pressure relief screw for it. So uh, we got, only got 1800 on the pressure gauge, so we're going to turn it up a little. Draining the uh, rear end on the uh, Massey here, it's a 15 16 wrench. There's a drain plug in the side. Got a bucket right here. So we got to drain it. So we got to get down further into the pumps inside the lift cover there. We've turned up the uh, pressure relief quite a bit and only gained 100 uh, PSI. And uh, we don't have a lot left. I did take it to bottom and then I backed it off, but. We don't, there's no way we got enough to raise it to between 2300 and 2600 like it should be so I'm gonna drain the rear end and there's a there's a strainer that uh, depending on which source you're uh, looking at some uh, some say that you got to uh, split the tractor to change the strainer uh, others there's a cover down here that's triangular back by the drawbar that you can take off but uh, Unless it's under the drawbar, this is a different drawbar because it's a it's a, a wheat land. There's no three point hitch on this tr tractor, so uh, the drawbar is different because you don't have the three point arms. So it maybe it's up under there. I, I kind of doubt it. So the uh, the other thing is to come in from the top and see if we can get the nut off and pull it down. So 
we'll have to see. Let's, uh, at least want to take a look at the bottom of this and see what it looks like uh, before we go any further. I kind of want to cancel out all the more simpler things. Now okay, inside the uh, lift cover again with a lot of the oil drain duddy here and uh, there's the uh, main pump in the bottom with them two cylinder barrel looking things those are the pistons that's the uh, auxiliary lift pump I am not seeing the strainer Oh, there it is. Ugh. Probably going to have to disconnect some of these fittings. That's the strainer down in there. Hmm. Most of what I read online uh, didn't really say anything about that. So anyways, I'll have to look into that. There's the differential assembly. So, well, I'll have to uh, look at that and then I'll... Uh, okay, there we got the... Uh, tubing lines off of the auxiliary pump and the uh, inlet to the PTO there so uh, got this cotter key uh, out of this coupling that couples back to the uh, rear shaft here and uh, goes up there so the next thing will be to take this coupling out and then might be able to at least have a look at that strainer see how dirty it is there we are we're out at the uh, junker massey so uh there's that auxiliary pump in the junker They've done something different here with the uh, pressure relief on this pump. And uh, this pump was apparently in the one tractor that I have. So anyways, I'm trying to see what the difference would be here between what's going on in mine and what's going on here. And uh, I just wanted to take a look at the difference between the pumps but there is actually some differences this intake up here is different this relief body is different so anyways I'll continue to explore so I just pulled the rear drive shaft out and the coupling and it's just like Rachel uh, Grindall says in her video you just push this fork into low and then you separate the coupling back here at the cotter pin, push the coupling forward, pull the shaft out, and it tips right out. So now I'm right here at the pump, so I'm probably going to have to drain some of this oil if I want to continue on with this. Now I... As seen from this morning on the junker, now I'm back in the uh, uh, rear end of the Massey that I have. So I've put it into high here. It's moved that fork forward. Pull the cup or the cotter key out of the coupling. Slide the coupling as far forward as you can. It gives you about a one inch space and then you simply pull the shaft out and then there's a sub shaft in there that it rides on and then here's the shaft 
sitting out and there's a needle bearing in the end. Okay, so there's the relief valve. There's the cap, flat blade in it. There's a spring in here. And then there's this cylinder type uh, set up here. So it's got a small hole in the end and it moves this rod back and forth. And then this is the main body of the relief right here. So there was some dirt in it and then it goes down in there. Can't really see in there.